it's me. Um, I decided that I was going to do a baking video. I haven't done one of these in forever. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever done a baking video. I know I've done a cooking video, but I've never done a baking video. So, all new territory, but I've wanted to do it because... I got... Because I got gifted this book. Um, it's the cake... It's... Uh, Jamie Oliver's Food Food Tube, The Cake Book by Cupcake Gemma. Now, if you don't know who Cupcake Gemma is, she is, let me just get a picture of her. She's this lovely lady here. <laughs> uh, she owns, she's on, one, she's on YouTube. I'll link her channel below. Um, and also, she is the owner of Crumbs and Doilies, the bakery in London. And I absolutely adore this bakery that she runs. So I thought as a nice little treat for me, um, I would bake these blueberry and cheesecake cupcakes. Now I have never made these before. I got this book this week. So this could either go horrendously wrong or really, really great. I hope it's the latter. I hope it's really great. So to make the blueberry cheesecake cup, blueberry cheesecake cupcakes, we need to make a fruit goo, as what the uh, crumbs and doilies call it. So, we're going to need blueberries, caster sugar. Let's do this. We're going to make our fruit goo, and in here we have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of blueberries. There we go. And the first thing we need to do is we need to liquidise them as much as we can. So I have a little handhold blender here. I'm just going to blend them. After that, transfer your blueberry liquid into a saucepan. Then take your caster sugar and pour it in your blueberry liquid. Put it on a medium heat and start stirring. You should only have to do this apparently in the book for about 10 minutes. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to bubble, so I'm going to take that off the heat. Then over there. To make sure there's no lumpy bits, I'm just going to sieve, put it through a sieve. Once you have completely strained your goo, we are going to move that to a side to let it cool. And then now we're moving on to make the biscuit base of our cupcake because every cheesecake has a biscuit base. So you're going to need 175 grams of digestive biscuits. I have them in a plastic bag so I can bash them with a rolling pin to make them all nice and crumbly like. You also need 50 grams of butter and then you'll need one tablespoon of golden syrup. So, let's bash these digestives. Once you have completely blitzed and made your uh, biscuits into tiny biscuit crumbs, you need to melt the butter in a pan over some heat over the heat and then combine this this and a tablespoon of golden syrup all together to make your buttery biscuit base let's do that OK, 
Okay, so the butter is very much melted. I'm going to take my crumbed up biscuits and pour those in. Start mixing all that together. And I'm also going to put a tablespoon, about that much, of golden syrup. I'm going to have caramelised golden syrup now. Oh, this looks so yummy. As soon as all of those three ingredients are combined, place a spoonful. Now I fucked that up already. As soon as it's all combined, place a spoonful in each one, I'm assuming. Oh, that one's... One tip that I would recommend is pat it down with a spoon. So where's my spoon? Here it is. So with every one, I've gone round and I've just patted it, packed it in there. I still have some mixture left over, so I might make a few more cupcakes. Make sure it's as even as possible. Um, I don't think all of these are even, but it's a cupcake. Who cares? We're going to leave these to the side for a minute because now we're going on to make the batter of the cake. My stupid camera cut out. Um, so I'm gonna have to tell you what I did. I had made it really nice and artsy. I laid everything out. <sighs> to make your batter, the first thing you do is add all your dry ingredients. So 250 grams of castle sugar and flour. Make sure that's sifted into a bowl. Then you add all the wet ingredients. So the 270 grams of butter. Four eggs, no, four large eggs, two tablespoon, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a tablespoon of milk. You add that in here, you then let it stir for 60 seconds. Once your mixture is completely combined, fill your cupcake cases with your biscuity base in about two thirds of the way up. If you're like me, overfill it. I'm definitely going to have enough mixture to make more than one batch of these. Some of these I've done already better than others, I can tell. Once you've filled your cakes, cake here. Once you've filled your cake cases, these needs to go in the oven on 170 degrees C for 20 minutes. I'm going to apologise now for the change in lighting. It's very yellow tone now because I've had to put the uh, normal lights on because it has got incredibly dark outside so if I didn't have the lights on you wouldn't be able to see me so it's now very yellow toned which is very frustrating but it is what it is um, it is like 10 past 9 so what could you expect we're now going to go onto the icing the cakes are still cooling they are very nearly cool enough to start working with so we're going to make the icing the icing is going to be your sort of cream cheese type thing we have mascarpone cheese butter and a heck of a lot of icing sugar as you can see normally I wouldn't present it when I'm making a video 
in the bowl that I measured it in. However, I was really scared that all of it was gonna like spill out everywhere. So the scales are still here and all of that. So we're just gonna go with it. So to make the icing, you need to put 240 grams of mascarpone cheese. I just got all, oh, all of that in there. 150 grams of butter. It's a lot of butter. A lot of butter and cheese. Yeah, I don't think these cupcakes are particularly healthy for you. Go in. There we go. Oh, still there's a bit of butter in there. Go. And then we need to combine these two before we start adding any icing sugar in. to combine now I'm going to start adding the icing sugar I'm going to do it in a few like sit it like few mixes because if I put all of that in it will just all come back up in my face so I'm going to spoon some of the mixture some of the icing sugar I mean into oh. can't believe how much icing sugar is in this thing completely put all of your icing sugar into the icing then move that to one side the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our blueberry goo that we made earlier it should be completely cool by now and we're going to put it in a piping bag i personally like to use disposable ones um, but if you would rather use one that you already have then that's fine so i'm going to just pour this in here, I'm probably doing this all wrong, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Ah! Ooh, it's making a lovely sound. Take a cake. And you're supposed, what you're supposed to do now is supposed to cut holes in your cake. Now, when I watched um, Gemma do it, she used a apple corer. I have searched the house and we don't have an apple corer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a knife. Let's move the icing out of the way. And I'm literally going to cut a hole in the cupcake and then remove, oh, I can see why she uses an apple corer. Okay, so we've made a hole. Now we have to do that with all the other cupcakes. I am now completely surrounded by cakes with holes in. Now I admit, an apple corer would be so much easier. However, it did work without an apple corer, but, and it probably would look a lot neater with an apple corer, but it worked just fine without. <laughs> Goo in hole. Wish me luck. One. I filled all the cupcakes with the goo. It was very runny, so perhaps maybe put it in the fridge for a bit next time. I've got another piping bag. I'm gonna do some. Oh, 
We're now going to put the icing in. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh, I need the scissors. I'm gonna give this a go. I'm no good at icing, by the way, so this could either go really great or really wrong. I hope it goes okay. too bad that looks rather good then you grab a cocktail stick or if you don't have a cocktail stick one of these massive cocktail stick things put some goo on your cocktail stick and just swirl it in but they make it look so effortless on I'm just gonna order oh gonna just put some on the top like that Word it in. Ah! That looks right. And there you go. <laughs> One blueberry cheesecake cupcake. I hope it tastes yummy. If you do make these, please let me know. Um. Oh, I'm so happy. I hope they taste as good as they look. I now have to ice the rest. And here we are, the finished lot. These are the best looking ones out of the lot of them, I will admit. Um, when putting the blueberry goo on, I really would recommend less is totally more. <laughs> there are some that I put in the fridge that you just sort of go, really? <laughs> How much blueberry stuff did you put on? Um, yeah, I'm so happy with how they turned out. I hope they taste delicious. If you do make these, please let me know. And, and I would love to see your creations if they look any better than mine. I'm sure they will because I'm really not an artist when it comes to <laughs> doing things like this. Um, I might also recommend making a little bit less of the goo. I have quite a bit left, but that's okay because I'm going to put them on some pancakes for breakfast tomorrow. I have a heck of a lot of clearing up. Behind you, there is so much clearing up to do. It is completely and utterly unreal how much clearing up there is. Um, that's what happens though when you film and bake rather than just bake, because when I bake, I do it as I go along. However, <laughs> when you're filming, you want to get the next thing ready. And also they took about two and a half hours to make. Normally, apparently, according to the book, they would take an hour and a half to make. So, <laughs> there you go. That is what it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more baking videos, let me know. I like. I really liked filming this. Um, it was a lot of effort, but I still enjoyed doing it. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That would be lovely. And I will see you soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.